Welcome to our video tutorial on how to use the theorems or the properties of the different kinds of parallelograms. Okay, first, let's recall that there are three special parallelograms. We have rectangle, rhombus, and square. Again, only these three are special parallelograms. Let's begin. Theorem 1. If a parallelogram has a right angle, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. Let's have a parallelogram RECT here and a 90 degree angle there. Itong parang square na to ay isang symbol yan that indicates na yan ay exactly 90 degree angle. Ngayon, ang sabi ng theorem 1, magkaroon ka lang ng isang right angle kahit saan. Pwede uh, doon, dito, kaya dito, pwede rin dito. No? So, sabi niya, sigurado yung given parallelogram ay magiging rectangle na. Paano yan? Kasi mapipilitan si angle R, angle E, angle C na mag-adjust din. O, tignan natin yung figure. Nakita niya yan? To explain further, dahil ito ay 90 degree angle, di ba yan ay parallelogram? Ibig sabihin, pwedeng i-apply yung mga properties ng parallelogram. Sabi ng property number 2, opposite angles are congruent. Kung 90 degree ito, sigurado 90 degree angle din tong angle E. And also, Si angle R at angle T ay supplementary angles because they are consecutive angles, right? So, kung 90 to, sigurado, 90 degree angle din yun. And syempre, yung natitira, opposite angles are congruent, 90 degrees din yan. Kaya, yung apat na yan, kapag pinag-add mo, 360 degrees. Now, let's define what a rectangle is. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Theorem 2. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So let's have rectangle RECT here. So being a diagonals are congruent. Let's have the first diagonal RC. Itong diagonal RC na to ay sigurado congruent din dun sa diagonal ET. Ayan, clearly, parehong pareho sila. Now, let's have the properties of rectangles. Summary na to. In a rectangle, syempre, yung five properties ng parallelogram, pwede mong i-apply sa kanya. And yung additional na property niya, or theorem, ay yung huling binanggit natin, diagonals are congruent. Example 1. In rectangle RECT, RC is 12. How long is TE and RO? RC ay isang diagonal. Tapos ang inahanap ay TE na isa ring diagonal. What do we know about diagonals of rectangle? Correct. They are congruent. Yun ang sabi ng property number 6 of rectangle, di ba? Sa solution mo, isulat mo niyong nawawala, yung, yung TE. No? Congruent siya kay another diagonal RC. Next, substitution. TE pa rin ang inahanap, kaya kopyahin lang yan. Equals, yung RC magiging 12 na substitution. And that's it. Tapos na. So mentally, kayang-kaya mong isolve yun. Basta parehong diagonals, they have the same measures. Next question is RO. Ang RO ay segment lang ng RC. What do we know about diagonals of rectangle? Aside from the fact that they are congruent. Correct. They bisect each other. ba? Property yun ng, ng parallelogram. Kaya yung RO sa yung OC, they are congruent in measure. Kung ang RO ay 5, yung OC, 5 din. At yung buong RC ay magiging 10. Kasi segment addition postulate, yung RO plus OC equals yung buong RC. So yung magiging sagot mo dyan ay kalahati lang ng 12, which is 6. Sa so, solution, Kopyahin mo na yung unknown, RO. Alam naman natin, yung RO ay kalahati ng RC. So, you write here, RO is equal to one half of RC. And then, copy RO. Yung RC magiging 12. Continue. RO equals, of course, 6. So, that's how you present your solution. Kahit na gaano pa kahirap yung magiging problem niyan, kahit na magkaroon pa ng algebraic expressions niyan, dahil alam mo na yung solution, madali na masolve yung mga yan. Conclusion, the length of TE is 12 units while the length of RO is 6 units. Same illustration, in rectangle RECT, RC is 5x plus 12. 
and TE is 2x plus 18. Find TE. RC is diagonal again, and TE is also diagonal. So they are congruent. RC is congruent to TE. Substitution, 5x plus 12 equals 2x plus 18. This is a linear equation. Pagsamahin yung mga may variable. So magiging 5x minus 2x to. Tapos yung 12, lilipat din sa kabila, magiging equals 18 minus 12. Simplify, this becomes 3x equals 6. Alam na natin to, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x, which is 3. Cancel, this becomes x equals 2. So alam na natin yung value ni x. However, ang tanong ay yung measure ni te. So kopihin natin yung te equals 2x plus 18. And then substitute natin yung 2 dito sa expression na to. So that is 2 times 2 plus 18. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 18 and that gives us 22. Conclusion, TE is 22 units long. Ngayon, kung tinanong din yung measure ni RC, pwede mo substitute. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 12 is also 22. Example 3, same figure, but this time ang given ay yung TC na 4x minus 12, isang side yon And RE is 2x plus 6, ito yon another side. And CE is 2x, another side. So, mas paganda, i-label muna yung figure. No? Yung TC dito, dito ay two, uh, 4x minus 12. Yung RE naman ay 2x plus 6. Yung EC naman ay 2x. Now, anong property ang pwedeng gamitin dito? Yung opposite sides are congruent. Kasi parallelogram din to eh. Kaya pwedeng gamitin yung property number 1. And recall also na pag sinabing perimeter ay sum of all sides lang yon. Kaya dapat alam mo yung measure ni RE, ni EC, TC, and RT. Tapos i-add mo lahat yon. Now, dahil ito ay rectangle, pwede mo rin gawin na ang perimeter ay doblehin mo yung length. No? Saka yung doblehin mo yung width. Tapos i-add mo yon. Pwede gawin yon. Now, solution RE is congruent to TC. Ang basis dyan ay opposite sides are congruent. Substitution, 4x minus 12 equals 2x plus 6. And then tuloy natin, this becomes 2x equals 18. Divide both sides by 2. That gives us x equals 9. Alam na natin yung x, 9 siya. Substitute natin siya kay RE. RE equals 2x plus 6. Substitute. Magiging 2 times 9 plus 6 and that is 24. Ang RE ay 24. Sigurado yung TC, 24 din. Kasi nga opposite side sila. Kaya ang gagawin lang natin ay yung EC. EC is 2x. Substitute. That is 2 times 9 which is equal to 18. Okay? So gamitin natin yung formula na to. Yung perimeter equals twice the length plus twice the width. So that is P equals twice ng RE plus twice ng EC. Length ng RE, yung EC width. Substitute, that is 2 times 24 plus 2 times 18, and that gives us P equals 84 units. So, yun yung sagot. Perimeter is 84 units. Ngayon, pag tinanong ay area, ang area ng rectangle formula ay length times width lang. Ipag-multiply mo lang yung dalawang yan. And then, square units. Next, we have rhombus. Rhombus is also a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Kanina, four right angles, di ba? So, theorem 3 tayo. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. Pag sinabing perpendicular, they make 90 degree angle. So, ito yung rhombus natin. Congruent yung apat na sides niya. And yung center, yung apat na angles na yan. Itong angle na to, 2, 3, 4. Yung apat na yan ay puro mga right angles. So, may apat kang right triangles dyan. Theorem number 4. Each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. Pag sinabing bisect, they divide the figure into two congruent parts. So, that means itong angle na to, itong BRM, ay congruent kay HRM. Similarly, Yung HMR congruent kay angle BMR. Also, isipin mo na kaagad to, sa rhombus, itong apat na to ay 
congruent in measures. Kasi nga, alternate in tiro din sila eh. And another pair ay ito. Itong RBH sa itong uh, MBH ay congruent din sa isa't isa. Kung napansin nyo, ibang marking sa ibang kulay yung ginamit ko kasi nga hindi sila congruent doon sa mga nauna. And also, yung opposite angles nila, ganun din. Uh, they are equal in measure. So, itong apat na kulay blue na angles ay pare-pareho ang measure, pati yung kaninang apat na kulay red. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, katulad ng uh, rectangle, kahit isang angle lang ang maibigay dyan, kaya man ibigay lahat ng angle measures dyan. Let's say, ito ay 25 degrees. Kahit ilang ang binigay na measure, kaya man ibigay lahat ng angle measures dyan. Try natin. Kung 25 ito, syempre, 25 degrees din yun. Kasi, diagonal by sex opposite angles. Ano pa? Kung 25 ito, sigurado ito ay 65 degrees. Bakit 65 yan? Kasi meron kang 90 degrees dun eh. So, 90 plus 25, 115. Eh, yan ay isang triangle. Diba? Kung yan ay triangle, dapat ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. So, yung kulang, 90 plus 25 is 115. Yung kulang ay 65 degrees. Okay? Kung 65 itong measure na to, sigurado 65 din to. Kasi, yung theorem number 4. Kung 65 to, sigurado 65 din yun. Kung 65 to, 65 din to. Kasi, alternate interior angles. Kung 25 ito, 25 din yun. Kung 25 yan, 25 din yun. 90, 90, 90. So, see? Isang angle measure lang binigay, kaya mo nang ibigay lahat ng angle measures dyan. Now, for the summary of the properties of rhombus, no, syempre, yung limang properties ng parallelograms, and also yung item 6 and 7, diagonals are perpendicular, diagonal bisect opposite angles. Last figure, square. A square is a parallelogram with four right angles and four congruent sides. Kung napansin ninyo, Nasa kanya yung definition ng rectangle and rhombus at the same time. For that reason, pwedeng sabihin na ang square ay both rectangle and rhombus at the same time. So, tandaan natin yun. Tamang sabihin na ang square ay rectangle o kaya naman ang square ay isang rhombus. So, figure natin. Ayan, meron siyang four right angles, four congruent sides. Yung mga diagonals niya, congruent. At perpendicular, tapos yung mga properties ng parallelogram, yung lima, nasa kanya rin. Ito yung pinakamadaling parallelogram dahil yung mga measures dyan ay ulit-ulit lang. Let's say ito ay 5 the square root of 2. Example lang ha, syempre ito ay 5 the square root of 2 rin. Bakit? Kasi nga all sides are congruent eh. Tapos 5 the square root of 2 din yan. Now, itong QO, itong QO, let's say yan ay 5, sigurado, 5 din ito. 5 din itong OR. 5 din itong OE. Okay? Tapos, yung mga angle measure sa gitna, 90 degrees lahat yan. And also, itong angle na to, itong QER, 45 degrees yan. Bakit? Kasi itong diagonal na to ay bisector ng angle SER. Kaya maghahati yung dalawang yan. 45, 45. No? So, lahat ng angle na yan, 45 degrees yan. So, yun lang yung mga measures dyan. Ulit-ulit lang sila. Kaya, yun siya yung pinakamadali. Okay, meron tayong table dito. Sa first column, isang ay yung mga properties. Tapos, yung second, third, fourth ay mga special parallelogram. Ang goal natin ay alamin kung kaninong property yung nakasulat dyan. First, opposite sides are congruent. That should ring a bell. Ito ay isang condition that make a quadrilateral a parallelogram. Isa yan dun sa limang minemorize natin, di ba? Kapag isa yan sa mga yon, true siya sa lahat ng special parallelogram. Second, all sides are congruent. Yun ay definition ng rhombus. Ngayon, kapag totoo siya kay rhombus, totoo din siya kay square. Also, kung totoo siya kay rectangle, totoo din siya kay square. Okay? Next, opposite angles are congruent. Ito, isa rin dun sa lima. Kaya lahat ng yan, true. Next, diagonals bisect each other. 
kaninong property ito? Tama, sa lahat. Kasi yan ay isa din sa lima na minemorize natin. Next, consecutive angles are complementary. Meron bang ganun? Wala. No? Walang consecutive angles na complementary sa parallelogram. Kaya lahat ng yan blanko lang. Next, diagonals are congruent. Saan congruent yung mga diagonals? Correct. Sa rectangle. And square. Again, kapag totoo siya kay rhombus, totoo din siya kay square. Or kapag totoo ko siya kay rectangle, totoo din siya kay square. Next, all angles are right angles. Siyempre sa rectangle lang yan. And square. A diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Isa din ito sa lima, di ba? Kaya lahat ng yan, i-check natin. Next, all angles are congruent. Totoo ito kay rectangle and square. Next, consecutive sides are perpendicular. 90 degree angle daw yung mga, side, yung mga angles niya. Kaya rectangle yan saka square. Next, opposite angles are supplementary. Meron bang ganun? Na sa lima? Wala. Ang sabi doon ay opposite angles are congruent. Opposite angles are supplementary meaning ang sum nila dapat 180. Totoo yun kay rectangle kasi 90 plus 90 to. N square. Next, diagonals are perpendicular. Totoo ito kay rhombus. N square. Last one, diagonals bisect opposite angles. Ito ay totoo kay rhombus. N square. So that's it. Thank you so much.